Left day, give me that L shit. Tonight on Newsline, the president opens up about his affair with Oprah Winfrey. The Martian ambassador is recalled to his home planet amidst tensions. And a new soft drink is found to be deadly. But first, the beginning of our three-part investigative series, The Hunt for John Schwarzwelder. Comedian, author, recluse. John Schwarzwelder first found success as an influential writer for the popular Fox series, The Simpsons. Unfortunately, like so many others involved with that program, he became psychologically disturbed as seasons progressed. Today, he is rumored to hunt the shadows of his hometown. Our story takes us to Capital City, where the citizens of this unsightly metropolis now fear their former neighbor. The frequency and typical violence associated with the Schwarzwelder sighting has given birth to a wide array of stories, some more believable than others. Um, um, you know, um, you see him every once in a while when, um, when we're down at the skate park and um, we're just, we're like skating and um, he'll, he'll come in from behind the bushes and um, we're like, oh, oh, there's, um, there's that John Schwarzwelder guy and um, yeah, well, that's just scary, you know? There's a myth that goes around these here parts that uh, he hunts and gets deer with his bare hands and teeth. It's, it's a crazy thing that all them town folk keep saying, but I can't say I blame them. This is John Schwarzwalder. Mira, te voy a decir ese pinche George Schwarzwalder. Cuando vengo del trabajo, cada vez que me trato de subir al camión, no puedo porque el John Schwarzwalder anda de loco, anda de loco matando gente. No puedo hacer nada. Es un terror para mis hijos. Our team pressed the locals for information. Finally, a lead was found. Well, we're at the nuclear power plant. Uh, this contact I made at the tavern said, it showed me a yearbook. Uh, John Schwarzwelder's graduating class in 1960. There's only one guy that hasn't left town, uh, you know, since then, and he works here. Uh, the guy told me he gets out kind of late, so we're you know, just hoping to get lucky and see some, you know, somebody that fits his description. It's supposed to be a kind of a slow-looking guy. Uh, huh, slow. Oh, wait, what? What do you see? What do you see? Oh! Our patience had paid off. Oh, the water company again. Are you Mr. Homer Sampson? Yeah, yeah, that's me. We're with Newsline. We're making a documentary okay. John Schwarzwelder. Do you think you can help us out? I we have any don't know who you're talking about. John Schwarzwelder, you're, you went to high school with us. I have, Class of 1960. I don't know. You're saying you're not familiar with this individual. <laughs> Get, get that picture away from me. Are you familiar no, with this No, I don't want to see that. No. Could you lead us to the No. That man to... haunts my life. He follows me around. I'm not okay with this. No. Think, yeah. No. Keep him away from me. Keep the frightened me. shell of a man we had encountered oh. broke down before our cameras, disturbed by Schwarzwelder's image. Just, just get the camera out of my face, okay? After regaining his composure, Mr. Sampson directed us to his attorney. Now, hold on, hold on, let me, um, is this on? Oh, we're good. It should be on, yeah. Mike, is that on? We're good, okay. Um, I'm sorry to uh, have uh, interrupted you. Please continue. Does your client have any information pertaining to the whereabouts of John Schwarzweller? Uh, my client, Mr. Sampson, uh, does not have any information about the whereabouts of Mr. Schwarzfeller, nor does any other member of the city. We have no idea uh, where he is. Our team was led to believe that, in fact, we've been investigating, and we know for certain that your client was familiar with Mr. Schwarzfeller, at least earlier in his life. Well, um, you, are, you are correct, sir, um, in that Mr. Mr. Sampson and Mr. Schwarzfeller were very good high school friends. And uh, unfortunately, after graduation, they both went their separate ways. Uh, my client, Mr. Sampson, went on to uh, nuclear school, and uh, Mr. Schwarzfeller went down to Hollywood to become a writer. And um, success is in the eye of the beholder, but uh, some would say he, got, he was rather successful, I guess. And that, that's it? That, that is it. What, what incited that reaction when we first tried to approach Homer? You 
why why do you run away from us? Whoa, whoa. What? Mr. Schwarzfire has done nothing but harass me. My wife's gone. My kids are disowned me. I can't even go to their sporting events. Because all I do is get laughed at. Because I'm sitting in my house alone at night, and I hear noises, and I know he knows things about me, and he's watching me. Following a series of dead ends, the conversation began to break down as Mr. Samson's emotions took hold. We have more questions. I I told you. I have more questions. I told for this you. We are we are done here. If you if if, if you have any more questions, um, here's my card. Oh, we, we well, are thank done. you very much. Mr. Samson, this is very I'm useful not, for yeah, us. I, Hey, go, let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, please show yourselves out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's go. We were surprised to find instructions and an address written on the back of the card. There's been no registered report of them over the last 15 years, and you're saying you see them on a daily basis. Is there any way you can prove this? I have documentation spanning approximately a square mile in my basement of his said whereabouts and lifestyle. Unfortunately, only level four acolytes of the Legion of Doom have said access, and you are not one of them. How, how do we attain that status? You must face a riddle. A level 80 dreadnought lord with exoskeleton gear of a knight druid fighting a level 60 knight elf with a garm of a Sheba who would be the victor? Our knowledge of mythological lore granted us a break, and we were directed to the abandoned train station. So I hear you're here for information. Well, I've got that information for you. We were met by a drifter claiming to know Schwarzwelder's whereabouts. He warned us not to continue, but yielded information that led us to John's last known residence. Is that, is that what? It's hot sauce. It was a dead end, though our search appeared to have alerted Schwarzwelder. Amidst the hysteria that overwhelmed Capital City, John Schwarzwelder still lay at large, and sightings of him continued throughout our investigation. We took to the outskirts of the city, eager to continue the hunt. So who is John Schwarzwelder? find out more next week when we are part two of our investigative series. Coming up next, President Obama delivers an emotional interview. You gotta watch for the pushes who be snorting white. Uh -huh. That's how we do in my city. Watch it.